y'all welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is katie and i make stuff vegan okay so boom so i follow a lot of british content creators and like especially like ones who live in like london and stuff like that and i want some cheeky nandos too and they be talking about like well you know i can go for a cheeky nandos i want that too and to be fair there is nandos in america there's nandos down the street from my house however <laughs> um not in memphis in chicago whatever however like the vegan options be like fries and like boiled eggplant who won't that when I can make peri peri chicken at the house? Period. And it was good. I've never led you astray. Never have, never will. On phone down grave. So if you want to see how I made vegan peri peri chicken, keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to never miss any of my videos. And as always, the link to the detailed recipe will be in the description box below. Okay, let's get to it. Pip pip. <laughs> Period. Pip pip cheerio. Come on then. Okay, I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. Okay, so I'm gonna start out by making like the peri peri sauce. And you know what's hilarious about this? I have peri peri sauce in my fridge because I, I saw it at Kroger. But you know, this was so much better than, you know, obviously the, the bottle. And it high key reminded me of like an AP, so like a Sofrito, Sofrito? Sofrito type vibe. You're gonna see why. Okay, so I took a whole bunch of bell peppers. I was gonna make something completely different than this. And I remembered I had all these bell peppers, the mini like snackable ones. Bell peppers, a habanero pepper, Ch typically it's like an African chili or something like that. I keep habanero peppers in my fridge, that's what I use. But you can use whatever you want, a jalapeno if you don't want it too hot, whatever. Cilantro, parsley, garlic, oil, vinegar, whole bunch of oregano, um, salt, whole bunch of paprika, and um, my better than bouillon, no chicken base and a little bit of cumin because if you put too much cumin, it gives tacos. Like, that's the thing with cumin. I've been feeling so bad for her because it's like, people think she's one dimensional and it's because you're kind of strong. You know what I'm saying? But whatever, we move. Uh, what was I gonna say? Not me forgetting, stick to the plot of the movie, Katie. Stick to the plot of the movie. Okay, oh, I forgot, this I forgot. This is so chaotic, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I forgot um, lemon juice and I have a lemon in the fridge, so, but we move. Okay, so I'm going in with my very soy chicken drumstick things. And I wanna be very clear because I use these all the time. And I find these at a Vietnamese market, right? So obviously like there are Asian grocery stores, but you have to check like which nationality owns the store. Because if you go to H Mart, you're probably not gonna find these because H Mart's Korean, right? But I'm, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. like. I'm gonna keep it real honest with you. I feel like tofu would slap way harder than these. Like, don't get me wrong. These were like A1. I would definitely make them again. You should make them if you have very soy. Uh, I'm just saying, I feel like tofu would hit. Okay, so do with that information what you will. Tempeh, anything. Okay, so I'm taking some parchment paper and I spread it with a little bit of nonstick. Oh, I also let my little chickens sit for 30 minutes, 45 minutes. Um, I will also say, what was I gonna say? This is so chaotic. I was gonna say something and I forgot. Oh my God, this is all embarrassing. Okay, so I put them in the air fryer because I rarely use my oven because I got an air fryer. Nikki, my friend Nikki always be making fun of me when I use my air fryer, because I use it for everything. <laughs> okay, so I baked them for 20 minutes, around a 10, 25 minutes, around a 10 minute mark. I took them out, I rebasted them, and this is what they look like, period. Okay, so I'm gonna plate them up and everything like that. These were so freaking good. Like these were so good. And I, I really wish I put more habaneros on it. You know what I'm saying? Like I, will, I wish I put more scotch bonnets in the, in the thing because I wanted it to be spicier, but you have to make this. Like it was so good. When I get off this camera, I often had a rest of them with some, um, with some massage kale. Let me see. Anyway, thank you for making it through the video. It was chaotic, but you know what? Stuff be chaotic. Chaotic Katie, ooh. I like that. It's giving very much alliteration. Anyway, things are chaotic over here, but we have a good time when we move. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss any of my videos. While you're here, check out my other videos. Come out enough of them. Y'all, we made it to 2,000 subscribers. That's crazy. Like, that's cra 2,000? Hey, y'all. Thank you so much for subscribing. I love y'all. This is fun. I love doing this. This is so fun. Anyway, I will catch y'all in the next one. Thank you again for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, y'all.